What's up everybody? Welcome to the HN vlog man. I haven't vlogged in a while man. But yeah. Now look at this way. Been raining all morning. But um anyway, I want to talk about the favorite topics of entrepreneur. Money, 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 money. VCs, right? And um uh, there's a lot of interesting things that happen uh, that's happening uh, on the continent right now from Asia that I just want to talk about and um, why we, you know, spend a lot of time trying to look for money outside, raising capital outside, mostly in the States, in Europe, but hey, Asia is booming, guys. Asia is boom. So check out the vlog. Alright, baby girl just woke up, so I'm not going to bother her too much. And uh, so yeah, guys, uh, you know, raising capital, raising capital, it's it's always the topic of, of entrepreneur, man, especially in, in certain fintech, tech. I mean, you need money to grow. It's going to take you a long time to, to, to reach profitability. Uh, some of you guys might not reach profitability, but might find a way to exit by selling the company. Uh, I've seen some uh, exit happening slowly but surely in Africa. But uh, the bottom line, man, uh, raising capital for African entrepreneur is still a challenge. Raising capital, period, is a challenge anywhere in the world. But for African entrepreneur in specific uh, uh, um, segment of, of, of uh, the technology like fintech, uh, connectivity, um, there's a lot of areas where uh, drone technology, wow, uh, drone is dominated right now by uh, foreign companies that are raising millions and millions of dollars. Fintech right now, I was, um, I was in Nigeria not long ago, met the guys from OPE, um, just raised 120 million, 120 million, and they raised it mostly from Chinese investors. And speaking to them, just light up a ball. Well, 20 years ago, not even 20, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, there was no VCs from China. China was still developing. They were raising capital in different ways, bank loan and all that. But there was no VCs from China. And now today, there, there's multiple numbers of VCs uh, uh, with billions of dollars uh, to spend. It's just amazing how... Asia, China specifically, uh, have changed dramatically. And now they have VC and now they are in Africa. And after six years of running A Red, I can tell you, most of the funding we got, or well, all the funding we got from Europe and the States, actually, nothing in Africa, which is still a problem, but we'll talk about that some other time. And, uh, but the fundamental challenge. With those VCs investors, they just don't understand the African market. That's the fundamental challenge from those VCs. I can't tell you how many times I talked to some, not just VC, but uh, high net worth individuals that are, that are investors. Uh, and, and you tell them what problem you're solving, and they don't see that as a problem. You tell them that there's poor connectivity in certain areas, they just don't understand it. A lot of them never visited Africa. When they visit, they go to the big cities. And it, it's, just, it's just really, really problematic. And when you already start a conversation and you cannot convince that the problem you're solving is not a problem, that's a problem. <laughs> so, but... Asian investors, at least so far a few I've talked to, have a different perspective. They, they, they went through what Africa is going through right now. They went through development not even 20, 30 years ago, right? So they have a better understanding of the problematic. They have a better understanding of, of what needs to be done. Of course, 
I'm not saying it's easier, but it, it, it's it's much better when you talk to someone that has an understanding of what problem you want to solve, or understand that the problem you're trying to solve is actually a problem and there's an opportunity in there. And they're very aggressive. They're looking for new market. They want to grow exponentially. And you can see it, man. Ope, Oprah, uh, um, Ope, which is a branch of Oprah, is a perfect example. You should check it out, O-P-A-Y. Uh, I'll put the link somewhere. I mean, I'll put the, 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 the company name somewhere. But, um, and fundamentally, that's the main difference, right? Because you want to find not just someone that has the money to invest, that understand the problem you're solving, but that, that, that really want to be aggressive with you. Because the African market, and nobody can deny that, is the most challenging market right now in, compared to any other market. Because it's a very fragmented market. Uh, the value chain in different aspects of the market is still very highly broken. Uh, there's a lack of infrastructure, etc., etc. I mean, we still we still have a lot of work to do, basically. But when there's higher high risk, there's potential of a higher return, right? And I would really encourage you guys to start looking at the Asian investment market uh, to fund your your project and uh, your your uh, your company because it's going to be. And I, I'm not going to say it's going to be uh, more difficult. But yeah, actually, yeah. It's going to be much more challenging for you to raise capital from Europe and America. Because the problematic is just not the same, you know. And because that market of Asia is growing, and now it's a little bit saturated in Asia in a lot of aspects, especially in tech. Guess what? Africa is the new El Dorado. is is the new opportunity. And, and people are coming in bulk to the to the African market they're looking for opportunity it's just a, a matter of you networking in that aspect so check it out guys there's a lot of VC uh, in Asia some of the VC now are sitting here in Africa Kenya specifically uh, some of them also in the States right but you have to network um, but uh, the, the the approach does not have to be the same it's just the networking is different now and you should tap into that network anyway Enjoy the vlog. If you like it, press like. If you like the content, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.